In a world where virginity often comes with a narrow, physical definition, we're flipping the script to see it as a symbol of mental and emotional health. Imagine if being virgin meant being in a state of psychological wholeness, free from the inner turmoil that can cloud our spiritual path. This fresh take sees the virgin birth of Jesus not in the traditional sense but as an emblem of psychological integrity and purity. Picture the disciples as followers or learners as a support group on a quest for spiritual wellness. They're on a mission to overcome the psychological dysfunctions inherited from their upbringing, symbolically battling the demiurge, the flawed creator of the material world, the ego in Gnostic thought. This figure represents the ignorance and limitations we all face, the mental and emotional chains that keep us from realizing our spiritual potential. Jesus, born of the Virgin Mary, embodies the pinnacle of spiritual well-being. Devoid of the inherited mental obstacles that afflict the other disciples, the Demiurge reinterpreted as a symbolic mother echoes the limitations and flaws transmitted through our biological lineage. A consequence of imperfect nurture, not nature. Despite this, there exists a beacon of hope. The Virgin Mary, or the archetype of spiritual motherhood, represents the possibility for transcendence, steering us towards a state of spiritual purity and mental equilibrium. She signifies the mature and mentally robust parent within each of us, awaiting an exemplar to unleash. All parents, regardless of gender, bear the inherent shortcomings passed down from their own parents. Furthermore, our greatest adversary is our most profound teacher, and the flawed nurturing of our parents serves as our paramount enemy and instructor. This devil or demiurge is capable of maturing and earning our honor, reverence, and respect. Now, what about Mary Magdalene? although not depicted as a virgin in the traditional sense, embarks on a journey towards spiritual well-being. She, along with others, shares the goal of overcoming the ego that has been shaped by negative experiences and inadequate nurturing. Together, they strive to cultivate a state of spiritual purity and mental health. This journey is about acknowledging and embracing a healthy ego and a sound mind. It involves fostering rational compassion, forgiveness, and genuine empathy that stems from self-awareness. By delving into the fundamental nature of being, they seek to uncover the existential truth that is often obscured by a corrupted ego. This ego, influenced by various dispositions and experiences, can distort one's perception of reality. However, through the pursuit of self-knowledge and understanding, individuals can strip away the layers of corruption and reveal the authentic self. Ultimately, Mary Magdalene's story represents a shared human endeavor to attain spiritual cleansing and mental well-being. It highlights the importance of recognizing and nurturing a healthy sense of self, free from the distortions of a tainted ego. By embarking on this transformative journey, individuals can cultivate compassion, forgiveness, and a deeper understanding of their place in the world. The Gnostic tradition, with its rich emphasis on gnosis or spiritual knowledge, offers a profound framework for understanding this journey. It teaches us that our spirit is inherently good but trapped within a flawed material body, an immature mind. The pursuit of Gnosis becomes a liberating path, a way to free our spirit from the material constraints, our ego, and embrace true spiritual wellness. A community bound by spiritual wellness. This innovative interpretation paints a vivid and compelling picture of Jesus, his disciples, and Mary as a tightly knit community. They are united in their struggle against the psychological constraints of their material existence and the false ego. The central narrative is their relentless pursuit of happiness and fulfillment. In this context, they are on a collective journey towards spiritual wellness offering a fresh take on the concept of virginity. It's no longer just a physical attribute but a symbol of psychological health. Jesus and Mary emerge as the torchbearers of this shift exemplifying the transformative power of spiritual knowledge. They lead the way towards achieving spiritual and psychological wholeness.